All right, so uh, welcome back to uh, part two. So I have it all connected in here. It's nice and tight. It's not moving anywhere. Uh, ground is connected. Positive side is connected. So you see it's kind of just twisted uh, counterclockwise a little bit. But it all fits good. Uh, so nice and solid. Let's crank it over. I haven't even cranked it over yet. So let's see how that how that does. How, and hopefully you guys can hear it and uh, maybe even uh, see something. Um, sorry for the darkness. I'm inside a carport that has no lighting. And I think the sun is just about to set right now too. So all right, so let me uh, crank it over, go in and crank it over and you guys can hear it and see how it goes. There it goes, it cranks over just fine. Sounds just fine. I'm not sure if it sounded any stronger than stronger than the uh, original battery or not. But um but it cranked over fast though, it started up pretty quick. Um Yeah. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna I'm gonna feel this weight change or not. Maybe, maybe not. Or it's all in my head, but you know, I like to lighten things up a little bit as much as I can. You know, see my other videos and stuff. You look you know if you uh Look, watch my channel. You know that I'm a bike guy. I'm not really a car guy. Uh, so, so I like to, you know, with my bikes, I like to lighten it up as much as I can. Uh, lighter vehicle is always funner vehicle. That's why the Miata, you know, it's one of the lightest vehicles out there. At least the lightest sports car, uh, you know, sporting car out there. Anyways, I think. Um, so, so that's one way of keeping it lighter. Um, the other thing I did was my. Um, my uh, windshield washer, I leave that pretty low, and you know I don't I don't fill that all the way up. And um, I need to wipe the windshield. I just you know stop by a gas station, and when you get gas, just you know wipe the windshield with the gas station. That way, all the windshield fluid doesn't get all into your rag top. Uh, I'm not sure how that you know this is my first rag top. I never had a rag top before, so I'm not sure how how well that goes if you 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 know you're using it for uh, just regular wiping and all the windshield fluid uh, going into the rag top. If that you know if that degrades it or if it uh, gets it dirty or whatever, so so I know for sure it get get dirty. You know, you look at a regular car and on my my other car, I use the windshield wiper all the time and on the windshield fluid all the time. And the roof of the, the of the car is just always you know dirty because of that. So I don't I don't want to do that with the with the rag top. So I'm gonna keep that pretty much not completely empty, but you know at the pretty much at the minimum mark. Um, there's actually a sensor in this in this one wiper fluid because uh, I have a pretty minimum and the other day when I was driving I took a corner real hard and the fluid slushed to one side uh, away from the sensor and all of a sudden uh, the sensor light on, my, on the dash uh, for the windshield wiper actually to turn on I was like what the heck is that and I, I, oh yeah because I, I cause I you know I, uh, I, I sucked out all the uh, most of the uh, windshield fluid so anyways, uh, so that's that's me lightening up the car by you know twenty pounds at least, maybe twenty two pounds, but let's call it twenty pounds to be conservative. So I have the uh, I have the uh, air tube thing right here on order to uh, you know delete this. So that's another one pound right there. And this is this is unnecessary. This is just this is just dumb. The idea of this is just retarded. I don't, I don't know what people are thinking. I don't know what Mazda is thinking. But you know at least at least they didn't. At least Mazda didn't do what BMW did and make car noises in the speakers and in the, through the stereo. So that's that's even I think that's even worse. Uh, but anyways, um, yeah, I'm actually about to go on a little quick road trip uh, this week. Um, going up the coast, spending a night up there, and then coming back down. So two days basically. I was originally gonna make it three days. I was gonna leave today this morning, but. 
I was kind of too tired and and uh, didn't have time. But anyways, so there you have it. There's your uh, uh, anti-gravity uh, ATX. So this is probably the smallest batteries you you probably put on a uh, on a on a car. I think they have their regular battery for a car. It's called um, RS. What is it? RS fifty, I think something like that. Anyways, it's bigger than this one. It's uh, it's double the weight, and uh, so this one's eight hundred, eight hundred, uh, eight eighty cocaine ramps. The other one, I believe, is twelve hundred. Around twelve hundred or thirteen hundred uh, cranking amps. Excuse me, not cocaine ramp, but cranking amps. And the uh, amp hours on the other one is, I believe, fifty. Um, so anyways, so that's your uh, anti gravity. Um, lithium iron uh, battery. I'm not sure why they say lithium ion right here. I could have swore this thing is a lithium iron, not 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 ion. So that's the difference. Uh, okay, so thanks for watching.